Emmerich. Lichdom is your life's work, your dream. I imagined I knew its price. If I haven't even the strength to accept Manfred's sacrifice, I would outlive you all, Rook. Would you still remember us? Always. Kept alive in Lichdom's immortal memory. Death's swift touch, held back for all time. If you really want to go beyond death, I think you have what you need to let all of us rest. And peace shall follow. You're right. After I make my farewells, I will undergo the last rites of Lichdom. And Rook, thank you. <sighs> Why is it so cold in here? Greetings. Rook, you remember Vorgoth. We were discussing some uh, preparations for my Lichdom. I shall be with you until the end. They sound supportive. Vorgoth is doing me a great favor. Good. Not gonna ask what, but good. <sighs> I've so much to do. Crafting a glamour, for example. After Lichdom, I'll need an illusion of my mortal appearance for polite company. Good call. I've told Harding about the ritual. I'll inform the others afterwards. Rook, would you accompany me during the final rites as witness to my lichdom? Of course. Thank you. When you have time, I'll send word to the necropolis. What's this lichdom rite actually like? I must pass through the gates and meet the oldest forces in the necropolis. A final appraisal of my soul. Emric Volcarin and his chosen witness, Rock, the challenger who has rebuked the cruel elven gods. Collect yourselves for the right. I'm afraid this is as far as you're permitted. If anything should perchance go wrong, what things we've already seen. Thank you for taking me on, Rook. Can't say things haven't been strange with you around, but it's been fun. My next adventure? Wish me luck. You got it. Come back mostly normal. I am come to be judged by the dead. I see so much more clearly now. The deeper eddies of the Fade, the pulse of the necropolis. I have been through blood and darkness, and I have emerged into light.
face is gonna take a little getting used to. But if you're happy, I'm happy. I feel so much myself. There are vistas before me, and each presents a lifetime's joyful work. All thanks to a friend who helped me find a clear and steady heart. Thank you for coming, everyone. Please, bear with me. This will be rather difficult to explain. I may appear the same as always, as I stand before you, but I've recently undergone a ritual that... I thought you'd have a skull face, like a skeleton. It must be his glamour. It's really something, Professor. I can't sense your lich at all. Harding! Oh, no. Was becoming a lich a secret? So, the lich stuff is true, and you crossed that line. A lich? Look at Emmerich. Flesh and blood and everything. He looks pale. He always looks pale. I have questions! You needn't speak about me as if I'm not here. Just tell me you'll keep your skin on. That's not how it... I should take notes. Look, why don't we just start from the beginning? <laughs> Are you satisfied? Yes, I have entered lichdom, and I am not an abomination, or a demon, or a disconsolate spirit. I have become something more. And yet I am still fully possessed of myself. So you are a skeleton. Got it. I'm not packing up Emmerich's 15,000 books and skulls, so... Thank you, Rook. But please, allow me. I'd like to think some of us have become friends. I value that more than you might know. But I am changed, and I would never cause you distress by staying where I'm no longer welcomed. You're no weirder than you were before. I've seen worse with the Wardens. You all... really? <laughs> I think you'll be fine. Okay now, question time. <laughs> 